Hello, my name is Tanam Shaw and I'm from UNSW. Today I'm going to work through some of the questions from Math 101 One Calculus, uh, Chapter 1 Problem Set, starting with 1.1, which is about sketching. Question 1 asks us to sketch this quadratic, x squared minus 5x plus 6, and then we're going to use that sketch to solve this quadratic inequality here. So if we want to sketch uh, y equals f of x, where f of x is x squared minus 5x plus 6, and we can see that x squared minus 5x plus 6 is pretty easy to factorise, uh, that's a really good way to go. To factorise x squared minus 5x plus 6, we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give 6 and add to give minus 5. Uh, those two numbers are minus 3 and minus 2. So this quadratic here factorises to x squared, sorry, to x minus 3, x minus 2. We can check by expanding, that's x squared minus 3x minus 2x is minus 5x, minus 3 times minus 2 is plus 6. So we're essentially sketching y equals this factorised version here. Uh, the factorised version allows us to find the x-intercepts very easily. To find x-intercepts, we solve y equals 0. So that means we're solving x minus 3 times x minus 2 is 0. And if two things multiply to give 0, one of them is 0. So either x minus 3 is 0, or x minus 2 is 0. So either x is 3, or x is 2. So there are x-intercepts there. For our y-intercept, we have x is 0, and we can substitute x is 0 into either of these. In any case, we will get y is equal to 6. So we have our x-intercept and our y-intercept. We know the shape is going to be a parabola. We've got a y-intercept of 2 and 3. draw our parabola passing through, so the x-intercepts of 2 and 3, and it's got a y-intercept of 6. So this is our parabola, y equals x squared minus 5x plus 6. Now, we're asked to hence solve this quadratic inequality. Well, uh, we've just sketched y equals x squared minus 5x plus 6, so now we're really asking ourselves, when is the y value of the graph we just drew greater or equal to zero? Well, that y value, that's the vertical axis, that's greater or equal to zero, that's positive, up here, so above that horizontal axis, and up here. So the y value is positive in those sections there. So that's when x is greater or equal to 3, and that's when x is less than or equal to 2. So now we can write down our solution. So hence, x squared minus 5x plus 6 is greater or equal to 0 when x is less than or equal to 2, or x is greater or equal to 3. So in these two sections there, we can write that in set notation. We can say x is in the set, less than or equal to 2 means from minus infinity all the way up to 2, including 2, or from 3 and including 3, all the way up to infinity. So our hence solve solution is in that box there. So there we have a parabola that's been sketched and a quadratic inequality that has been solved using that sketch.